Welcome to this video guys. I have the sample code here that uses Python Turtle to draw some graphics. So if I run this, you'll see this. A house will be drawn. So let's see how we can install Turtle in Visual Studio Code and how you can create this. First of all, you need to open terminal from, from Visual Studio Code. And here we need to check our Python version. So if I check the Python version, as you can see, it shows Python 3.12.3. And down here, it is showing select interpreter. Here also, you need to choose the same path or same Python version that is being shown in the terminals. I have two here, 64-bit uh, 12.3 and 12.3. These are two different Python versions. One is uh, in Anaconda and one is standalone Python version. So why do we need this? Because if when we install this library, it will be used for, it will be installed in directories corresponding to one of these two Python versions. So if I choose this one, okay, so this Python is in local programs Python and here it is, okay. And let's install turtle, the command is pip install turtle, hit enter. And let's see if turtle is installed in this or not. So when we are doing this, as you can see, it says requirement is already satisfied in C this path. So this is the path where our Python is right so if i click here or if i hover over here as you can see this is the same path as this one not the same but this is uh the path to python 312 is the same so this means that we have chosen the correct python version here now if i choose this another one here base so it is in miniconda 3 slash path okay so now if i do run code or run python file it will be using this base conda version and uh, this as you can see by this shown here c uses vishal mini conda 3 so if you have multiple python versions make sure that the python version that you are using here is the python version for which you are installing turtle using pip install turtle and if you get an error that says pip is not found this is because pip is either not installed for your system or it is not added to the environment variable. If you have that issue, just check the link in the description below. It will show you how you can set up and install pip. 